Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Battleground Games Live. Hello oh my goodness, I'm getting a little bit of feedback here. There we go. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Hi. Andrew and I am happy to have people joining me to play Lovecraft Letter at in the loft in Battleground Games uh, in Abington, Massachusetts. And with me we have our usual crew of gamers. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm Travis. Amanda. So thank you folks who are joining us who could be watching Stranger Things, but instead are watching us play board games. We really appreciate it. Uh, the ginormous Stranger Things display behind me, which you probably can't see very much of on the stream, is actually a giveaway for Extra Life. So Extra Life, one week from today, seven days to go you can see right there and we're almost to a hundred dollars raised Woo! Triple digits, here we come that's right so I encourage anybody who's watching to donate and see if we can hit that hundred dollar mark before the end of the stream it could happen it could happen theoretically um, yeah so that's another of the new giveaways that we've got I should have grabbed the giant box full of Pokemon, Pokemon swag. Box. Maybe I'll grab that at the end of the stream so you guys can see that because it's we got cool. an absolutely enormous box of Pokemon stuff that we're going to be giving away during Extra Life. Um, Sims, who's one of the organizers of the Extra Life, who actually brought Extra Life to Battleground, uh, has a friend who works for Pokemon. And she said, sure, I'll donate some stuff. And he was like, cool. <laughs> and then we received this box. It is, I don't know, two feet square, two you feet cube. You can't see it's, your depth there. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's about that high, about that deep. It's an enormous box stuffed with Pokemon things, including tins, boxes of Pokemon cards, uh, pins. It's just unbelievable. I think we're going to have to split that lot up. I don't Probably, think... I mean, we yeah. could give it away as, like, the ultimate prize to anybody who likes Pokemon. But I don't know if that's where we're going to end up going with we'll it. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, so should we jump into the game? We have one more person who's going to be joining us later. Yeah. He's stuck in traffic. But this happens to be a game you can play very, very quickly. Yeah. And... Although I've read the instructions once and Travis has glanced at them, Amanda's never looked at the instructions for nope. this game. Uh, you can look at them. Going in blind. Okay. I'm good. Okay. But um. I think we can muddle our way through. So maybe we'll play a couple of games or a game or so before Nate gets here. And then when Nate gets here, for reals we'll play. Uh -huh. Because we'll know how it works. I just, I feel like, you know, I need to go in like ignorant. Okay. So that I can go insane faster. Shall we talk a little bit before we start about game production and design? Because this game it's is probably well. one of the best designed games in terms of what you get in the box. Yeah. So this is the box for Lovecraft Letter. And you can see it's shaped like a tome. It's got a little latch on it. And you open it up. It's magnetically sealed. Uh, has a picture on the inside that has a lot of the characters that we'll see. Has a place to put your deck and a place to put your uh, sanity and sanity tokens. Uh, and then we've got the tokens themselves. The tokens are these chips, which are very reminiscent of Splendor chips. Well, they're they poker some, chips. They're poker no. chips. They're, they've got some heft to them. And they've got two sides. You'll be able to see this a lot better when we go to the other view but they've got one side that's your sane and one side that's your not sane. And it has a little Cthulhu face or a little They're tentacle too. thing. They're like foiled. Are they foiled? Yeah, look at them. They're they are very nice. Um, and those are what we use to track points during the game. And we've got the deck of cards, which actually come with sleeves. So there are sleeves for your cards, so you don't have to hunt for sleeves that are the right size. They even included sleeves for the hint card. 
So you, you get a card that has, because the whole thing with Love Letter, and we'll get into this, is that you have to know how many of each card are in the deck, because counting cards is sort of part of the gameplay. They have a reminder card, and it has two sides, because there's different effects if you're using the insane effects of cards and the sane effects. So we have these two-sided cards, and they also come with sleeves. So spectacular design on this. Yeah. Let's find out if it plays as good as it looks. All right, I'm going to switch so that our stream can see the view. Here we go. So at the start of the game, we take one card and we exile it. We don't know what card that is. That makes it a little harder to do our, our counting, our card counting. And then we shuffle up the deck. I've actually already shuffled them a fair amount, but we shuffle them up a little bit more. And then each person gets one card to start. And on your turn, you're going to draw one card and then play one card. They say discard, but effectively that's play. So we each get one card. We do not tell anybody else what we have. And the cards are going to have several things on them. They're going to have a value. They're going to have uh, an effect. Uh, and many of them have two effects. One is in sort of uh, tan, and that's the normal effect. And the other is in green, that's the insane effect. You can only use the insane effect if you are insane, which means you have an insane card in front of you on the table. Uh, so Travis, you usually go first because we s often go with youngest <laughs> player. Yeah, youngest player. So Amanda, I don't think you've gone first in a little while. Probably not. Do you want to go first? Sure. Shall we compliment Amanda on her excellent sweater? I don't know if they can see it. Not in this view very oh, well. well, probably. Actually, this is a sweater she got because she saw it on Orphan Black. Uh, Orphan Black. So I was watching Orphan Black, which I love, um, and I think they did an excellent job uh, finishing it up. And there was a character who works in a comic book store in uh, one of the earlier seasons, and he was standing behind the counter wearing this amazing sweater with a beholder on it. And I was like, I need that sweater. So I went looking, and I found it, and I bought it, and it was fine, and I thought, it's not... It's not friends. Cthulhu, but he's got tentacles with eye stalks. It's kind of yeah. so, you know... It's appropriate. Look, uh, it's I mean, in, the intent is in the eye of the beholder. You're welcome. You could hit me so easily. But you're not. No, we're hitting each other. Hands are not for hitting. Hands are not for hitting. That, that, that firmly puts us into a non-family friendly stream. So, yeah. Amanda. That's actually a book that she has in the library. Hands are not for hitting. Oh. So you draw one. You draw one before you play one, yes. Sometimes the cards will interact with each other, so read them both before you decide what you're going to do. So the goal of the game, there's actually two ways you can win. Uh, one is if we get to the end of the game, the person with the most, I think, sane chips in front of them wins. If somebody ever gets three insane chips in front of them, they win instantly. Okay. Win the entire game, not the round. Uh, and Cthulhu allows you to win without any chips at all, as long as you have two insane cards discarded that round, and then discard Cthulhu on top. Cthulhu has conquered the world and you win the game. So, okay. I put one of my cards to play. Yes. What happens to the other card? You keep it in your hand. It's in your hand at the beginning of the next now next time it comes back to you. If it's a sanity symbol, you get that chip if you have that card. Uh, this, yeah, so look up sanity. Card. It's it's it just indicates that that is an insane card. Or and if it's card. Or a sane card, yeah. but you need to have an insane card in front of you before you can 
downplay the insanity effect on a card. Because this is the major difference between Love Letter and, yeah. uh, and this version. So, um, if you'll allow me, insanity. If an insanity card is ever in a player's discard pile, no matter how or why it happened, they have been in contact with forbidden knowledge and are now insane. Remember, a card only goes in the discard pile after its effects have been applied. An insane player may, when playing an insanity card on future turns, choose to use the insane effect instead of the sane effect. They cannot apply both effects, they must choose which one they want to. Oh, I forgot about sanity checks, too. Yeah. An insane player may also break down mentally at any moment. At the start of each of their future turns, before they add a new card to their hand, an insane player must make a sanity check. A sanity check is made by revealing as many cards from the top of the deck as the player has insanity cards in their discard pile, one at a time. If they ever reveal an insanity card, they are immediately knocked out of the round. If they pass the sanity check, all cards that were revealed in this fashion are discarded without playing the effect. Okay. So, playing a card is discarding it. Playing is discarding. Playing is, discarding. Playing is yeah. discarding? Okay. So, I'm going to play Investigators. Aha! That is a very common card. Yes. There are four Investigators? No, five? I that, yeah. it, th in the top right corner of the card, if, if I can borrow the card for a second so I can show five. it to the stream. So, here's an example of a card because we didn't show any cards before we started playing. You can see the Investigators. You can see there's, uh, the information about what they do. And there's this little so symbol, this bunch little of bunch of symbols here. here. That's how many of those there are in the deck. Gotcha. So there okay. are five investigators in the deck. One has been revealed. All right, so investigators, I, I get to name a number other than one mm -hmm. and choose another player. If they have that number in their hand, they are knocked out of the game. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to name... And the, the book has a, a very nice bit about cheating. Obviously, when you ask somebody, they could cheat, they could lie. And the book says, we recommend not playing with people who cheat while you're playing casual fun games. That sounds fair to me. Don't play with cheaters, guys. Don't, right. don't be a jerk. So yeah. I'm going to name the number three. And me? I do not have a three in my hand. Go fish. Don't, don't go fish. I'm not going fishing. Not, not in Lovecraft letter. Uh, who knows what I'd find. Are we going to go Wittershins? Hey, hey. Oh, do we have somebody in the chat? Hey. Oh. Heathen Axe. Greetings. You were with us last week, I think. So, hello, Heathen Axe. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching us play some Lovecraft letter. And, and yes, we, we're going clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. My well, turn? Yes, it is yes. your turn. I don't know why I was... I, I got uh, last week too. I was like, I was thinking counterclockwise for yeah. some reason. Well, I mean, I it's know. appropriate for a spooky holiday themed thing to go backwards. Anti clockwise. Uh huh, uh huh. I, um, mm, mm. I'm trying to remember what the word is for clockwise because there was one, there's a word for it from before they had clocks. Yeah, there's, because it's winter shins and yeah. I, I know there's another word. Uh, uh, I should know it. I'm going to play Golden Mead. Okay, Golden Mead. What does it do? Choose another player and look at their hand. You can't use the insane effect, but you are now yes, insane. Yes, but I am now insane. You have cracked. The Golden Mead has affected your mind. Yes. Uh, that, that is uh, that's all it took. Yeah. Yep. Um, Amanda. He's doing something to you, Amanda. Yep. Uh, I just want to look at your hand. I, I do not uh -huh, get to see. Uh -huh. it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Whew. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, glad I didn't play the other card. Information uh. <laughs> has been gained. You are now insane. Yes. And it is my turn. I draw a card. I'm gonna look and see what else it could have been. Yeah. That I probably just tipped my hand, didn't yeah, I? You did. Hmm. I'm All right. I am going to play the Great Race of Elith, or Eeth, Y-I-T-H. 
These are all very uh, Cthulhu. If you read the instructions, there's a lot of flavor to this. Yes, yeah, so there's a little there's a little index in the end of the rule book that uh, it's almost like an index of explaining like, hey, this is sort of the Lovecraft history of this particular uh, this particular subject. Right. Uh, it's it's a it's all very wonderful. So uh, the great race. These are an ancient race of peoples that have lived on the earth for millennia. Uh, I believe they like consume people's thoughts or something like that, but they're generally benign. Uh, I choose another player. You secretly compare hands, and then the player with the lower number uh, is knocked out of the round. Uh, I am going to compare hands with you, Travis. Uh, I, okay. So here's my hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, here's your uh -huh, hand. Uh -huh, yeah, that's that did not end well for me. Travis is yeah, out of the right round. Yes. <laughs> that would have gone yep. poorly for you. Yes, right. very poorly, I think. <laughs> uh, Amanda, it is your turn. It's my turn. Draw a card and play a card. I know, I, uh, th this is probably a, a good time to mention it. Um, this reminded me, for, uh, for my daughter, we, yeah. have the, uh, we have a, um, the ABC, uh, like an ABC book that is all entirely Lovecraft themed. Nice. That is cool. Amanda should bring for next week. You should bring in the uh, Desert Bus book. Oh, yeah. Desert she has the Desert Bus ABCs. Yes, I just found that. Thank you. I, but I, I was being played. Diosil. So yes, yeah. thank you so much. Heathen Axe. That um, is exactly the word we're looking for, which is clockwise. I'm going to play investigators again. Ah, who are you investigating? I'm investigating you. Name a number. Amazingly. I am going to name the number two. I or no, not two. Uh, four. Sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Because I, 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 I saw the two next you to said, Elder Sign. Okay. And I, said, yeah. I was looking at Elder Sign. I do not have a four in my hand. Okay. My turn. I was looking at the number of the type of card and read it out instead of saying it. Blah. All right. So I play the silver key. You must discard this card if you ever have another card with a number higher than four in your hand. Oh. So, there. Oh, five. I oh, five that. or higher. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, five oh. or higher. It says higher than four on the card. And you just discarded the silver key. So. Hmm. Hmm. I get to um, play Professor Henry Armitage. Uh-oh. Choose any player. They must discard their hand and draw a new card. Okay. Guess what, Andy? It's you. All right. So I discard Randolph Carter and draw a new hand. My turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to play Liber Ivonis. You cannot be chosen as part of the effects of other players' cards until the start of your next turn. Okay. Now it is your turn, Amanda. But you cannot target me. Excellent. Okay. I have Hexproof. Because I have Liber Ivonis. So if I can't target someone... Then it just doesn't. You it still play the card, but nothing happens. So this would be a chance to get a low numbered card out of your hand. Eagle. Okay. Choose any player. They must discard their hand and draw a new card. I can't do it. Yep. It but is worth noting. Yes, that we are both at this point insane. Yeah. So <laughs> at the start of my turn, I must take a sanity check. Yes. I am one insane because I have one insane card in my discard pile. Reveal the top card. I am out of the round. Amanda wins. I had the Necronomicon <laughs> in my hand from the very beginning. Wow. From the start. It was the first card I drew. Wow. And I didn't have any way. Okay, so this is the Necronomicon. It's an eight value. The, the value of the card at the end of the round, if people are still alive, yeah. which sometimes happens, the person with the highest value wins the round. But... With the Necronomicon, its ability is, if you discard it for any reason, 
you're knocked out instantly. Yeah, that's just it. So, alright. So, I am knocked out of the round because I, did, I failed my sanity check. Amanda gets one insane token. She has one point. A green point. And now uh, we shuffle. Do it not forget to uh, retrieve the discarded card. Oh yes, thank you very much. And we'll shuffle and discard a new card. If you'd like. Curious. It was an investigators. So there were in fact only four investigators in the deck. As opposed to the three investigators. As opposed to the fifth. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, there is one card if you've ever played Love Letter. Um, oh, it's Drew. Okay. Hi, Drew. I, I forgot what your handle was. So, hello again. Welcome back. Yeah, I, I was sort of, uh, you know, I, I think it's a big tip when you said, what up, my nerds? Okay. That is an indication that it is Drew. Uh, it's worth noting there is one card that we have not touched yet, which is the Mago Brain Case. This card is not in the deck, but is actually used during play. If somebody plays a particular card, it goes into somebody's hand. It's the, the Mego card that I had. I played Oh, okay. And if... I had been able to target you with it, you would have discarded your hand and you would have And I would have gotten the brain the case. case. Yeah. And then... Well, if I was insane, I could have used the insane effect on you. Right. And that's what that does. And if you have Mego in your hand uh, and you play it, you're knocked out of the round instantly. So it's a zero cost, which means you're not going to win the game at the end of the round if you still have it in your hand. But if you discard it, you lose. So you have to hope that if you have that brain case in your hand, you somehow don't end up discarding it and win by default. So, round two. Round uh, two. Travis, can you double check to see how many chits we need in order to win? Of course. I think it's four total or three insane. But A I player wins the game after any of the following conditions have been met. Okay. If they have two sanity tokens face up. Okay. Three. Um, insane. Yeah, insane. Sorry, they, they both say icon yeah. sanity. And oh, okay. Yeah. Three green. Either Either two sane or three insane. Yeah. Or if they won the previous round thanks to the insane effect of the Cthulhu card. Okay. There we are. And that is, a, that is it. I and then there's a little bit about honesty. Shuffling. <laughs> and we'll discard a card without looking at it. And uh, star Everybody. player go, yeah. The winner of the last round goes first, I think? Sure. Is that, am I correct in that? Is it, I've always gone the star player just rotates. Oh, okay. I, uh, sure. uh, uh, uh. I mean, we might as well try to do things according to the rules. Ah, yeah. Imagine that, folks. Doesn't say? Uh... The winner of the previous round. Okay. Another thing that I've been playing wrong. <laughs> in the, in so my Amanda, it's your turn again. It's my turn again. Sweet. Wow. Okay. Um, I am going to play the Hound of Tindalos. Okay. Choose another An early insanity for Amanda. Yeah. Just right off the bat. Um, Her mind just snapped. You choose another player. Mm -hmm. It's it's Gmork. It's the nothing wolf. Oh. Um, you secretly compare hands with them. The player with the lower number is knocked out of the rounds. Okay. Hey, so Andy. it's the same effect as the the elders. Yeah, as yeah. the Andy. the great race yes. of yes. We are secretly comparing hands. This is my hand. I think I have a lower number than you. I am knocked out of the round. That was quick. I am mm. right out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep. mm -hmm. Travis. All right, then. I'll just draw this. He's got this. some information. And, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So the, the information that Travis is processing, this is the card I discarded. It is a six value, yeah, which is. means Amanda has to have something higher than six in her hand. Sorry to make that explicit, Amanda, but... Okay. The chat should he know he what's going on. So, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I am I am forced to play this. The shining 
Trapezohedron. I, I must discard this card if I have another card that is higher than four. And so that is a, uh, that's it, right? That that is the that is the play, right? Or is that important note, chat? He could be lying. This is one of the circumstances where he could be lying about being forced to discard yeah, that. Yeah, having to discard it. You could play it voluntarily if you have a three or a two in your hand. Because or a one. You could have an investigator it's, in it's your hand. it's a great strategy to voluntarily discard the seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you could be trying to fake Amanda out. Yes. Play, playing the mind games. So he might have yeah, something so of yes. four or higher, or I'm sorry, five or higher in his hand, or he might just be trying to psych you out. I'm out of the game, or out of the round, I'm sorry. I'm still in the game, obviously. Okay, Amanda's turn. I know what she has in her hand. Yeah, you do. The Necronomicon, again. Oh, do I need to do a sanity check? Oh, sorry, yes. You, you should do. reveal the card you just drew. We'll believe you. Oh, you're oh. out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Travis well. gets a point. Again. Yeah. Round one. <laughs> you called I'm the, it. I'm the victor of, uh, of attrition here. <laughs> you know what? I'll t <laughs> victory's a victory. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so, yeah, Lovecraft letter, the highest value, or love letter in general, the highest value card is usually instant death if you discard it. Yep. Uh, I believe in Batman Lovecraft, it's the Joker. Yeah. In Hobbit Lovecraft, it's Smaug. Uh, yeah. It, it, it helps in a larger group because yeah. you could still be in the game at the end and win by points. When Nate gets here, uh, yeah, we'll go through more of the deck. When it's a smaller player count, especially three players, and you start with the eight, you, it's a, that's a hard road. Yeah. Oh, I never put that card I was, back I was in. I always having to be playing The card that we had discarded at the, at the beginning was the deep ones. So. Back into like, the deck it goes. Which one's going to be worse? Nope. <laughs> Not the game <laughs> if I play that, so. There it goes. So, Travis, maybe we should actually read the blurbs about the cards as we play them. Yeah. To, to get a little more flavor and make the stream more spooky. Spooky. Because I really do like the flavor. I wish it was printed on the cards because I feel like it, it lends a lot to the I game. Feel like it's a little frustrating to me that the a bunch of the cards only have like the very basic stuff printed on the list of cards, the sane effects and insane effects. Oh, okay, yeah. Like if you look at some of those cards and you actually look at the text on them, there's a lot more than you see on the the spoiler cards. Yeah, hmm. it's it's not quite as like simple. Okay, I am discarding a card. Did not look at it. Everybody draw a card, and Travis goes first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna draw here, and we will yeah, we're go we're gonna play uh, we're starting out with the deep ones. Okay, what do the oh you're gonna read the the blurb yeah. Amphibian creatures that serve Father Dagon and Cthulhu. They mate with human females to increase their numbers. The children that are born so gradually nasty. get fish-like features I and feel will like eventually I, I, return yeah, to sea. Yeah. So, yeah. Lovecraft yep. did have a thing for revolting things. Yes. Anyways. Um, so, uh, Lovecraft total... Total shot in the dark here. Yes. Um, I need to choose a player, and if they have the number that I say in their hand, they are knocked out. And just because of the last two rounds, I need to. Amanda, eight. No. Okay. <laughs> just checking. She does not have the Necronomicon <laughs> in her hand. It's my turn. Draw a card. Okay. Yeah, I, I Lovecraft I have a bit of an issue with. I I really like sort of the the idea 
of the sort of Cthulhu mythos. But the man himself? But the man himself, and yeah. therefore a lot of the stuff that he wrote into it mm. um, is like fairly xenophobic. And I get a lot of that with Edgar Rice Burroughs. I tried to reread the Martian books a while back, and like there's talk about the slaves that he owns at the beginning of the first book, and I was like, wow. That, mm. I don't remember hating these books, but wow. Okay, yeah. I am going to play Professor Henry Armitage. Uh, can I borrow the book so that I can uh, read yes, his flavor? Of the the uh, story behind what we're doing in the game, if we read the, the whole thing, is we've gotten a letter from our cousin who's on a archaeological dig in, uh, in Egypt. And we've gone searching for him because he's disappeared. I, I thought it was because he wanted to go bowling. Okay, yeah, that could be a cousin. Uh, a cousin, let's go bowling. Uh, <laughs> professor Henry Armitage, a professor at Miskatonic University. He has researched the unknown, learned magic, and can give valuable information to those who dare ask. The valuable information he can give me is if I choose a player, they must discard their hand and draw a new hand. Well, I know Amanda does not have the ne Necronomicon in her hand, so I'm going to name Travis. If you have the Necronomicon in your hand, you lose. I don't. Okay. It was, it was, a, it was an investigator. It was an investigator. And I guess I'll... Okay. It is Amanda's turn. Amanda, deep in thought. I love these sleeves. I, I love everything about this. Do the cards have the same back? Okay, so they do. Yeah, the ba the card backs match the sleeves. Yeah. Is that it's a little claw digging away at the insanity symbol at the sanity at the sanity symbol, symbol which is a seal. Here, here's the the back that she's talking about. So there's a claw coming out of the letter. Uh. Do you have it in stereo? Because Amanda is panned all the way to the left-hand side. So it could be, if you're listening in mono, that you're not getting her. I, because my headphones are stereo. I can turn you up if I need to. But thank you, Kat, for the heads up. We can turn Amanda up if she is quiet. Say something, Amanda. Um, I am definitely quieter Okay. you are with both of my headphones in. So yes, thank you, Kat. I will turn you up a nudge. So we're, we're, we're assuming that it's Kat who typed that message. Yeah, it could be your daughter. Yeah. It wasn't my daughter. Not, not your baby daughter. It, no. Developed amazing typing skills. And I have de mic myself. Sorry about that, guys. It almost yeah. sounds like my mic isn't on. Really? Yeah. Why not? But somehow? All right, like I have so like room. You can't hear yourself at all. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, there I am. Okay. No. Okay. We're okay. Everybody's I wonder fine. if my if like this was loose. Oh, is there's a short? It could yeah. be. We do could put a lot short. of stress on these things. All right. Thank you, Cat, and we are back in. Yeah, right. this one definitely has a short because when I put it down on the table, I heard a pop. Uh -oh. Like a glitch. Okay. So we'll be aware that the turquoise we'll have to mic double check that. has some issues. Need to order some backups. Go back to so, uh, perusing my t my two I, choices. I, I discard the investigators and I drew a uh, drew a new um, card. I haven't played. So yeah, so I was gonna say, so it's now your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Yeah. Correct. I drew I was just, a card. I was just, so. I was, I was making sure that we were back up to speed. I, I didn't even see that you had already drawn. Sorry. I, I am I am deep in thought about my two cards. I'll be quiet now. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to play an investigators. Okay. So you choose a um, number and choose a player. I am going Correct? to choose... Yep. So far What's we have two investigators and one deep one. Is that Professor Henry Armitage in yes. front of you? <laughs> there are uh, two of him in the deck. Yeah, I know. I'm going to say um, Andy. Yes. Four. No. Okay. 
All right. Uh, Thomas's turn. I performed an insanity check. Yes, yeah. you have to perform a sanity check. You're safe. I'm safe. And now there's an elder sign has been revealed. Yep. There are two. Two elder signs. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna draw. And I am going to, because it hasn't happened yet, play something. the insane effect Yes, of he's something. Doing, because That's... he is insane, he can use the more powerful effect on his card. And this is Nyarlathotep. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, that guy looks like bad news, doesn't he? Uh, I think you collect all the hands and then redistribute them. So you get to see both my hand and Amanda's hand and give them back to us you don't do anything with your hand. Yep. Um, one card of your choice back. So I could give you my hand instead. Yeah. Uh, read the manual because I think it explicitly says you do not do anything with your hand. When you discard Nyarlathotep during your turn, collect the hands of all the players still in the round. You may look at them. Then redistribute one card of your choice to each player. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. that's everyone. That's a powerful card. So, here's my Wait, hand. Wait, sorry. Yep. This effect does not put their cards in your hand. Thus, you cannot give the card you have in your okay. hand away. Okay, so you can trade our cards oh. with each other. Okay. Okay. Touche, salesman. Uh, Do you want to read his, uh, his blurb as well? Sure. The Crawling Chaos is also named the God of a Thousand Forms. Here in its human, here in its human one, which he favors. Its final motive is to fill the world with chaos and destruction. So he's not just some guy; he's an evil god yeah, disguised he's... as a guy. Hey, Andy, there's yes. a message in chat about getting Ron for any Cthulhu themed games. Yeah. Okay. And, and so I get to. It, at Andy. least this has the benefit Andy. of me just being able to see each of your cards. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Here, right. have my hand. So here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So Travis has a lot of information now. This is dangerous. Yeah. I don't well, like this. no, here's the funny thing is that the, if I just do that like that. Oh, yeah, we all have the information. Okay. Yeah. And Except that I can't remember what I... Oh, I know what I had in my hand. <laughs> I can remember there, there was a specific reason I did I also that know you have what, what you have in your hand. Uh, darn it. So, okay. Travis has done a thing here. Yeah, he has. This was really mean of you to do, Travis. I'm going to draw a card, because it's my turn now. It is now yeah, your turn. Is. Here we go. I did that fully knowing it is your turn next. I am going to play an investigator, which Travis just put in my hand. I know what Amanda has in her hand. Yeah, you do. Because Travis just put that in her hand and took it from me. So I could very easily knock Amanda out of the round. Or I could try a gamble why? to knock why Travis out why of the round. Why would you do that? I, he I know. gave you The thing to gift. do is he's to... He's not getting... He's not passing Amanda. away the gift. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this was Travis's fortune cookie this morning. This, this afternoon. Evening. To not do your very best is to throw away the Do I gift. still have it here? Here we are. To give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. H so however, I guess however, Drew says you should gamble. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just going to knock Amanda out. Yeah, go for it. So, Amanda, I choose you, and I choose the number five. Do you have a five no, in your hand? Oh, I do Yeah, I have a five in my <laughs> hand. What do we say about cheaters? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Amanda is out. I want to show off my I, fortune because my out. fortune was really appropriate. I loved my fortune tonight. There is no point to being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. I think all of us would agree on that. Now, um, we'll, we'll open a fortune cookie for the stream. For the stream. Now, after this round. Here's the fun thing. Now I have two insanity cards yes, in my discard pile. Yes, so you have pile. to draw two cards. Mm, First one, uh, you're safe. safe. Yep, the great ones are not... Safe. You're safe. Now you draw. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If he has Cthulhu in his hand, he can win the game now. Yeah. Because he win has two... Win the game outright. Not just yeah, the exactly, round. Exactly, not the round. The, the game. The whole game. 
So if he doesn't play Cthulhu, I suspect he doesn't have it in his hand. Uh, just trying to drag out the round a little longer. No, um, <laughs> I am going to play the Cats of Ulthar. Choose uh, another okay. player. Okay, I think you're choosing me. And, and look at their hands. Oh, man. Okay. Due to a strange event in the town of Ulthar, on the other side of the river sky in the dreamlands... That's my hand. The cats please. there have been become an object of fear. Ever since, Ulthar has become a haven for cats. The cats speak human language and might give hints. They're giving me this hint. <laughs> this is, hint is that I have Cthulhu in my hand. If, if I, and if I could play Cthulhu... You would win the game. Yep, but um, that's... Uh, All right, my turn. I just have to not lose this turn because odds are he's going to lose his sanity check on the next I, turn. I mean, maybe. All right. Uh, so I'm obviously doing this, which is me go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I can't use the insane effect, but I can choose a player, you, uh -huh. you discard your hand and draw a new nope. card. Uh, yeah, yeah, because you're playing, it's just the regular. Correct. Yeah, right? it's not the I insane effect. I can't do the insane effect. Okay. So you don't get the brain canister. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's yeah. That's these are not the guys that would give him the brain canister, but I can't do that because I'm not insane. He loses another investigator. That is the third, fourth investigator. There's what card possibly was that one in more the, investigator. Was that Migo? Yes, that is Migo. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to read? I'm going to read the blurb. Yes. Now that I'm out of the game, I can I can read stuff. It's story time with Amanda. It's story time. A being from Yugoth. Highly intelligent and knowledgeable, they sometimes steal human brains, carrying them away in laboratory tubes, and are able to travel to far distances, excuse me, far distances in space. In space. In space. Hey, Clank in space just got released. This oh know. man, we have to play Clank in space. Clank in space. Uh, all right, so it's my turn. Yes, yes. and you have and to take your sanity a, check. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, safe. You're safe, okay, and a great one. And, ah, uh, no. no. Uh, he's out. How could this happen? <laughs> <laughs> so we I only had to draw I five. I know, weird. In my hand. I win that round. I get my first And you coin. get a sane version yeah. of it. Yes. Wait, it, you it. did you do it sane? No. Oh. I did not discard. Oh no, I discarded Migo. Just on I'm the last. Sorry, I, I was gonna say just on the last turn. Yeah. All right. What was our uh, our discard card that wasn't in the game? was another Elder Sign. Hmm, okay. You don't want me shuffling. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. So I I am enjoying like the flavor of the game. Yes. yes. And I'm enjoying some of the new mechanics. Definitely adds some extra. Yep. The, the, yeah, the, I'll be honest. Twist. It's it's a pretty basic game, like in the other versions. It's just like, oh, what flavor do you like best? You yeah. Know? But um. And they are very much a palette swap. There's yeah. not much difference between the different. Not really. Uh, but this I love feel letters. like has just enough difference that it feels flavorful. Yes. And like the mechanic, the added mechanic fits the flavor, which I appreciate a great deal. And, uh, I, I think the only other one that even had something like of a distinct difference that I remember was the Batman one. If, uh, if you were able to knock somebody out with the one card, you got an extra bat token. Mm. That that was and that was the other way that you yeah, could, uh, that you could gain outside of a round win. Yeah, but um, there but is outside of that. I mean, a lot of the other versions are just a there straight is a skin. wedding version of Love Letter. Yes, that is only available if you have a wedding invitation that you show when you buy it. Yeah, like, like, like you actually contact uh, yeah. AAG and show them like, yep, we're having a wedding and. Uh, and you can get the the wedding edition, yeah. Uh, that's which I cool. which I wish I knew about, like you know, during my wedding. We got cool. married. It would have been nice to get one for Benny's <laughs> wedding. She actually had games. My sister yeah. just got married two weekends ago, and she had games at the wedding. That's right, where so we got to play. Uh, discarding this. Codenames duet. Kat and I, uh, we... I get to play first this time. We end up giving out a lot We've of, like, We've each got uh, one token in front of us. Yeah, we do. We end up giving out a lot of, like, times. small, like, 
ten dollar type games, yeah. such as Love Letter. Uh, just uh, instead of centerpieces, we end up doing giveaways. Cool. Games. So That's awesome. Yeah, that, that was our incorporation. That's nice. All right, so I am going to just start right out with an investigator. Uh -huh. Travis, do you have a one in your hand? You can't say one. Can't say oh, I can't one. say one. I'll say two. Do you have a two in your hand? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, See, that's what I mean about the, the like, Right, right. If you're just looking at the text, reference. Yeah. It doesn't say that. Like the, a the number reference other card than one it says, says on the card. Though, guess so. another player's hand. If you're correct, they're out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sorry, I, I say two, and if you have no twos in your hand, you're safe. Okay. Amanda. I like that Travis was just going for it with the insanity last round. Yeah. Why not, right? It does give you some more powerful effects, but those sanity checks are so deadly. All right, I'm going to play the deep ones. Okay, she's going for the sanity already. Name a number other than one and choose another player. If they have that number in their hand, they are knocked out. So basically the investigator is just scalier. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to say, what is? It's yeah, it, the yeah, investigators. It, it, yeah, because you're not insane yet, so you can't use the alternate. Right, right. not yet. Right. She can't um, alt them. So I'm going to say um, Travis. I already know it's not two. Yeah, I know it's not two. Is it five? Oh, oh, oh no. Ah, wow. Knocked I out. did it. Mm. Knocked out. That, that hurts. I did it's it. I didn't turn. even get my turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ouch. Uh, well All played. Right. Amanda has one card in her hand. Yes, I do. I'm going to play the professor on you. Go for Choose it. any player, they must discard their hand and draw a new hand. She does Card. not have the Necronomicon. No, I didn't. Hand. I had nearly Hotep. Now I have a different card. Yes, and it is your turn. So sanity check. Oh, oh yeah. Sa First sanity. Check. Randolph Carter. That's You're good. Yep. Second one. Necronomicon. Safe. Yep. Safe by, by discarding the Necronomicon. Wow. Yeah, I didn't discard it. Right. I, I showed it. Yeah, it was revealed <laughs> and then put in the discard pile. Uh, I'm going to play um, the investigators. Okay. And I'm going to name. So got three. A five, a five. I'm sorry. What? Three. Three. No, I do not have a three okay. in my hand. Go fish. I already time. have some fish in my discard pile. Thank you very much. Okay. Hmm. 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 Well, I think I'm going to investigate again. Name Amanda. Yep, sure. And I'm going to choose... Four. Nope. Okay, your turn. So you take a sanity check. Investigators. You good? Wow, all the investigators Oops. got clumped together. Yeah, they did. Well, that's all the investigators are out now. Yeah, that's two there. Two I have in one. my discard. Yep. Yep. I am going to play Elder Sign. You cannot be chosen as part of the effects of other players' cards until the start of your next turn. Okay. So Amanda has hexproof until the start of her next turn. Yes. I will do the same thing. <laughs> Just with a different ability. Uh, Liber Ivonis. Liber. You cannot be chosen as the uh, part of the effects of another player's uh, cards until the end of your next turn. But now I'm you're insane, turn. right? I am insane. All right, so we're gonna. That's one. Cats. Man, you are lucky. Silver key. Oh wow. Okay. This is intense. Thulu. You win the game? Win the game. 
She wins the game with Cthulhu. Wow. It's the sweater. Yeah, <laughs> the sweater got there. So uh, Nate, I mean, you, you did. I just top decked that. So <laughs> Nate is still stuck in traffic, unfortunately. Man, Nate. Uh, Amanda, did you, you, you did draw six out I, of the deck too. You yeah. definitely defied the odds to get there. Yeah, yeah that was impressive. I forgot to grab Murder of Crows. Oh. We do have a tin version of it downstairs. Yeah, I don't want to open it. We can do another. Yeah, we round can do this. another round. Uh, we also have a couple of other games that we could always try. Code Names is hard to do three player. It yeah. can be done. Um, but we have Queen Domino. Spooky Queen Domino. Spooky Queen I Domino. I haven't looked at the instructions for Queen Domino yet. So hey, Patrick. Queen Domino is not available yet. No, it is new. So we are happy that we have a yeah, preview I, copy. I had been holding on to Professor Henry Armitage for several turns. Professor, Professor Pigglesworth? Yes, Professor Pigglesworth. Um, and I top-decked Cthulhu. I was very happy about that. Wow. I, I so revealed you. So the what silver key and the in cats. The deck? And then pulled Cthulhu. The great race, the great race, Elder Sign, the Hound, and the Cats. There's only one other Insanity card even in the yeah. deck yeah, at that point. Yeah, and Shining Trapezohedron was the discard. Wow. I'm really, really proud of myself. For that. That's impressive. <laughs> that, that Congrats, was, Amanda, was... on winning just outright. Yeah. I, I if you think have two I, or more insanity cards in your, di in your discard pile, you win the game. If you don't, you're knocked out of the round. You win. Done, yeah. That uh, was fun. That is definitely a fun game. Stop the insanity, <laughs> says Patrick. Uh, Stop the madness. Start the movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, has the movie started yet? <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you want to I do? I think Queen Domino is a bigger time investment. Yeah, it is. Because Nate is going to get here is. eventually. Um, um, we could do code names three player. Just means that two of us are spy masters and one of us is playing on both teams. True. I could be the spy. I'd be happy. And then the, the two of you are in competition. Nate. Oh, it, it's going to go poorly. We can I, try I, it. I'm, I'm happy uh, being the spy. We yeah. don't have to do it. We could we could I'm, do something else. I'm also happy to uh, do another another game of a uh, game of Lovecraft letter. But yeah, I could do that. What would you guys like to watch? What does the chat think? Chat, would you like to watch Code Names Marvel or more Lovecraft letter? Spooky Code Names. Yes, spooky. Yeah, there's not spooky. much spooky about that. It doesn't fit in the theme. You no, know, it's got Blade in it. He's a vampire. Yeah. Are you going to show it off to the chat? Yeah, so um, just to, to show it off a little bit, we got, let me show that in the thing. Um, we got Codenames uh, Marvel, which is a Marvel-themed Codenames. It is all, well, it's picture-based, but it also has names on the back. You can't see that. Um, it has yeah, so names on the back. I'm curious. You've, re you've read the instructions, and I haven't. The instructions do not mention the words on the back at all. Oh. As, at least as far as I could see. Um, I guess they help people who are not familiar with the characters. That's what maybe? I'm thinking. Or if but you But they're double-sided. You could, you could, they're just like regular And you regular can see, because they have it cards. written in, in two yeah. directions. So the idea, I think, is you can play it Here's an example, with chat. words, like a regular Here's game of code names. She-Hulk card that has She-Hulk on the she other side. So... So yeah, no, I, I, I even told myself last night, Andy and I were talking about it, and we were like, you know, Lovecraft Letter's really short. Um, and I said, I need to remember to put uh, Murder of Crows back in my bag. And I forgot. It's on me. I, I took it out of my bag because I needed to put some other stuff in my bag and I didn't need it um, during the week. And then I forgot to put it back in. I mean, the tin is really gorgeous. The tin is really gorgeous. I just, I don't want to crack it if it's the only one we have in the store. Okay. Yeah. Kang? Not Kodos? Yeah. No. Kang the Conqueror. Here's Kang. <laughs> yeah. It looks nothing like Kang. No, we don't have a store copy. 
We just we I bought it for Andy for Christmas last year and put it in his. Because stocking. what's a sweeter Christmas gift? Yeah, than a game about murder, right? And then we played um, it at PAX. Yeah, we played it up in our hotel room at yeah. PAX uh, at the end of one night. We didn't have a whole lot of brain left, so should have been storing it in a Mego brain ca case. Um, yes. But yeah, so the thing about, um, even if we don't play this, the thing about this is it has a whole lot of images that are clearly cropped from comic books. Um, like, there's one where it's uh, the absorbing man, and he's got yeah. this, like, chain with a, like, wrecking ball on the end of it. And you can very clearly see Spider-Man's hand and one of his feet on like the corner of the picture, but you don't get to see any more context for the absorbing man's, uh, like what's going on in that art piece of artwork. These aren't just uh, commissioned for these cards. Ooh. These were cropped out of existing let's, images. Let's play a quick really game of, uh, of this. We can always go back to Amanda, that. This it's is a, a four by five grid? How it is, big a grid? It is a five by five we're five we doing. Five. Okay. Yep. So chat, we're gonna. I don't know if any of you have played. Um, Travis, I'm gonna go this way yes, so that these so are all I visible to the chat. Right. I forgot what part of the overhead is that <laughs> visible to. And I'm gonna put that for you guys there. Yep. Okay. Travis, I did can not you look see at the it. Grid? Oh, I sure can. Can you? Yes. Um. Well, I'll pick a different one since I just flipped that one. Do you want to be team blue or team red? Uh, in the theme of this game, Team Blue is uh, shield. shield, and Team Red is Hydra. Well, hail Hydra, all right? Okay. You are Hydra. I am Shield. You go first. And Amanda, do we have uh, the things to put on the grid? Yes. So weirdly enough, this is the thing that I'm not... Can you give me one of the grids that's not being used so I can show it to the chat? Chat, we haven't played this on stream before, so just so that you guys know how this game works, we have a grid with a bunch of pictures on it here, and the two of us, Travis and I, can see a grid that looks somewhat like this. And you can see on this grid it has blue, red, purple, and an X. So this grid corresponds to that one, so for example in this case what color here. Are the lights around this one? Hmm? What uh, color are the lights around These three the cards here, oh, so uh, Fisk, red. this guy who I don't know who he is, and the lizard here, they're all blue cards. That means you have one and more Cerebro agent here than Andy does, but you go first. Is okay. a red card. And the, the blue on the outside is here is going first gets means this that there so are more blue awesome. cards than red cards, and blue goes first. Double agent. I remember, yeah, I remember that from code names now. Okay. It's been a little while, but... Thank you. Um, so this is the thing that I'm not super thrilled about with uh, Marvel code names. Instead of bystanders, yeah, we don't just get bystanders. We get infinity gems. Oh, interesting. Okay. And the gauntlet. The gauntlet. Huh. So the gauntlet is a bystander, apparently. Apparently? It, like, that's weird flavor-wise. I, I totally am on board with Thanos being the assassin. Yeah, here's the assassin. Big old Thanos himself. So I think it's best if you death. guys um, go with the grid going like this way. So like the bottom row is at Travis. Right. The bottom is at Travis. Uh, because if you were, if you guys oh, were playing, reading yeah, it, flopped it reading down it like that this. This corresponds with this. Okay. Yeah. Does that work for you? It works for me. We'll make it work. Do you want to angle it outward? Can you read? Uh, good I from can there? see it from there. Okay. Yep. Amanda can't. Yeah, I'm try just trying to keep it away from my eyes. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, good. We can tilt it further that way. So. Okay. Yeah. Travis, you are going first. I'm looking now to see which ones are mine. So we can give to see who a one-word clue to try and have her uh, guess which ones we're going for. So hard mode for this one, uh, code names can be a lot of fun. 
Um, what Andy and I discovered at PAX East one year is that code names is really mm. hard as a demo game. It's hard to demonstrate for like four people in a convention setting because you need to have like three or four people. So if you're one person trying to run a demo, it's kind of hard to like get the right number of people together. And also, it very much depends on word association, which can be a really hard thing to do with strangers. Um, in this case, hard mode for code names, uh, Marvel, is that you're not supposed to, it, normally in code names, the clues that you give out, um, when you're giving out clues in the like original version, the cards would all have words on the back and you're not supposed to give out a clue that contains any of the words visible. Okay. So like if bow was out on the table, I couldn't give rainbow as a clue, even if I wasn't intending for someone to hit this one. Um, but if that was covered up by someone, I could then give that as a clue. Um, but because there are no words visible on the picture side, Yep. Theoretically, you could actually say that. Hard mode in the booklet for Codenames Marvel yeah. says um, you're not supposed to use any part of the name of the character visible on the front. Wow, okay. That is tough. That requires knowing who they are. Yeah. <laughs> and they do have their names on the backs of the cards, but you're also not supposed... I mean, if you're the spy master, you shouldn't be touching them to yeah, show them. Right. Yeah. Gee, I wonder what this one is. And if you're the spy, you're not supposed to touch it until you're guessing it. It's the touching that locks you in. All right. So, yeah. So, Travis. Uh, I, I've had a nice long while to think about my first clue here. I think I got it on lock. Mm -hmm. Superhero 9. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, God, no. Uh, don't do um, that. <laughs> uh, Which ones are the villains? And how <laughs> exactly. can I stay away from them? No, um... Uh, I'm gonna go with fire three. Fire, fire three. three. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm gonna guess one at a time. I'm going to go with one. Uh, Captain Marvel there. One. Fire. Yeah. Because this looks sort of fiery down here. And that's electricity, but it could be fiery. And that's like the microverse, but it could be fiery. Mm. None of these guys have like fire based powers that I know of. Um, obviously, it's Fisk. Um, Kingpin, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there's it's totally there, Kingpin. That, that's fire in the background, right? There. Well, there's yeah. smoke, right? Where so. there's smoke, there's obviously fire. Exactly. Um, this is so disorienting for me. Doing this upside down. Yeah. Well. I'm really not. I'm gonna go with that. No, these are uh, there, there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. well. Okay. Blinded, two. Ooh. Okay. Well, I know one of them right away. Is. Okay. Blinded by light. Um. Um, let's go with uh, Nick. He's got a ball. He's got a an eye patch. What? Cool. All you right. could make one more guess if you so desire. I could. I could make a bonus guess because I got both. Of, I got two that, and Andy said two. Yeah. I, I did not necessarily say Cthulhu names. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cthulhu. That's names. actually a Cthulhu hmm. themed code names would actually be pretty awesome. I don't know. Everything would just be tentacle five. Yeah. <laughs> Wibble, three. Um, Madness. But yeah, if I get the number that Andy said, I do get a bonus guess. But because I don't have any other clues to go on for him, I think that's a bad idea for me right now. So I'm not gonna. Uh, 
hammer one. You're hammered, all right. I know Thor's on here. <laughs> and I missed, the, I missed the other fire, so I'm going to go with, oh. Because he throws little exploding things. <laughs> mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Uh, Sometimes linking these things is really hard. Yeah. Um, no. Mm. No. I definitely need to play this with Sarah. Yeah, you my and friend, Sarah. Have my friend Sarah. At this. Yeah, Sarah and I are both like Marvel nerds, and we would. Yeah, it, it would be really bad. It would be really good. It would be bad for anyone who wasn't on our team. No. Uh, okay. Make it easy. Bald two. <laughs> Bald, huh? And Fisk. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, there are a bunch of bald dudes in here, technically speaking. Like, he doesn't have any hair. Well, he doesn't have hair, but he's not bald. Yeah. Yeah, you do get a bonus. hair. Okay. Travis. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to guess anymore, so. Oh, um. I know what I would use if I was Travis at this stage. I mean, Modoc has hair, even. I do love that Modoc is in here. Yeah. There's some deep cuts in this. Like, there's some characters that I was looking at going, okay, I know this name. I do not know Can't this character. I'm a nerd. Uh, uh, suit one. Suit one? Now that we've eliminated Fisk, yeah. Now that, that works. Fisk has already been been contacted, yeah. Um, I'm not going to make any bonus guesses. All right, that. back to me. I have four spies left. Zoop zoop. This is when you start trying to figure out like reaches to get all four together. Yeah, and it can be really tricky. <sighs> Now, I really yeah. like this, but I will say the trick with this one is it's so busy. Yeah. Like the pictures, the, the images in Codename's pictures are almost like minimalist in comparison. In, like there's a lot going on. In Codename's pictures, in there is a lot of interpretation involved. Right. But they're like relatively simple because they're just black drawings on like a white background or a beige background. So. I having trouble finding a way to relate things to each other here. Yeah. Like some stuff just doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna just say lantern one. Lantern. Lantern. Those are DC characters, Andy. No, you're right. <laughs> Whatever. Lantern? Yeah, the lan the, all the lanterns are, are DC. I guess I'll go out on a limb and think you meant this guy. No, that's no. Okay. okay. Yeah, I have no I idea what you meant by there. that one. I was mixing my universes. Yeah. Mm, insect two? Insect two. Travis, he's better at this than he let on. Insect. Um, I'm going to go Ant-Man up here. Okay, so Ant -Man I, again, I kind of forgot whether or not that was Ant-Man or Star-Lord. It is Ant-Man. <laughs> you are correct. Um, and even though it's not technically an insect it's 
arthropod? I'm gonna go with scorpion and spidey down here. Well, there's they're spidey bugs. in it. They're bugs. Well, I mean, scorpion spider and spider. An Spiders aren't insects yeah. either. They're yeah, they're scorpions. Arachnid. Yeah, I was gonna say scorpions are arachnids. They're bugs. Well, yeah. But spider man. Spider's spider. an arachnid too. Spider. Oh, oh. Is, yeah. Yeah, spider's oh, got yeah, eight so legs. Herp. <laughs> not, not an but it's okay. I got what you meant. I got what you were laying down. Intention. So yeah, I, yeah. He's only got his, his last boo. agent. I know. I I got have no way to get four agents with one clue. Uh, target one. Bullseye. You get one more guess. know who you meant with lantern unless it was bullseye I actually do know who bullseye is because I watched the awful awful daredevil movie God, so did so did I and <laughs> we watched it so no one else has to yeah that's what I was saying it's so busy yeah um, because they're cropped from existing comic images and you can tell you can look at it you're like oh there's a lot of other stuff I think they're going mostly on from here. covers yeah, yeah there's there's definitely other stuff going on around what's in this there's even like a signature visible on a couple of them um, God, I don't even know you could just pass and Travis gets the last yeah clue. I'm sorry honey I don't know okay Travis. Um, um, I remember looking at names earlier. I just want to outright give the name, but I'm not sure if I have the right name. Oh. Uh, well, you can't give the name, right? You actually can. Hard mode is, if it, the name is one word, yeah. Division one? Vision, yeah. Yeah, that guy. That guy. That's the one. That's the guy. You could have said purple. Right. Oh, no, because Modoc has purple. So I thought this was Sinestro. That's where I was losing oh. my, my universes. It's not we, Sinestro. It no, just it's, looks it's an awful leader. goddamn like him. We, it's we, the leader. We discussed leader. earlier, too. No, 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 We were leader. discussing earlier that forehead would make a good, uh, uh, a good pairing. combo <laughs> pairing for those two. No, 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 no. And the assassin was, uh, was Sandman. Sandman. So he would have killed you. Yeah, he would have. I should have said Sand Zero. But no, the, in difficult mode, you can't use a word that's part of the name. Yeah. Hard mode, you, you can't use that. Yeah, it's the busyness of the pictures. And I mean, if you're a comic nerd and you love that sort of stuff, then that's cool. But it definitely makes it a little bit harder to parse the board. Amanda, if this was on the board and I said id, would that work? Totally. <laughs> would you pick that up? 100%. I would be like, I know what you mean by that. <laughs> It's Ego. It's Ego, right? the living so. planet. He's an ass. <laughs> well, I, I we like totally it. have to play this with Sarah. But we have to play it with Sarah. We have to play it with, with Sims and, and Sarah and Josh yeah. and like all our comic book nerd friends. Yeah, we need to get all our comic nerd friends together to play this. Sarah and I need to play it and totally geek out over it. She'll be sad that there are no X-Men. So that was the other thing that kind of got me. And I, I know why. It's because, you know, the rights are sort of split on X-Men. And, and Fox uh, has the X-Men. Yeah, right Fox now. has the X-Men. And I thought it was just for the movies, but I guess it's not. I guess it's for, like, product tie-in oh, as well. Oh, this is the baggie for these. Oh, here. Um, because, yeah, there is not, not a single mutant to be found in here. Well, um, I, I does have a bunch like of a fake nerd stuff. playing that. It, there are so many of like not obscure obscure characters, but there's definitely stuff in here that I was looking at and going, I I know the name, I don't necessarily know the character or its or his arcs. Like I just know that that's a Marvel character. <laughs> I know the name of him. I can sort of know the name looking at it. Um, hey I... Nate. No, we're we're good. We're you're like five minutes away. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're cool. We we just played a game of um, code names. Marvel code names. Yeah. And but we've still got uh, Lovecraft Letter up, and it's not a super long game, so we're happy to play it with you when you get. We can here. kill five minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll gloss let over me. the fact that you're on Twitch right now and still <laughs> and five driving. Minutes out. Yeah. I I do hope you are stopped at a light. 
All right. I, oh, oh, I know what we can <laughs> do to kill some time. How are we going to kill some time? Are we going to talk about... Uh, we're going to open the chat's oh, the, fortune the chat's cookie fortune. that only kills a couple of seconds. But, but that's okay. Do you want to read the chat's fortune? Sure. And or eat the chat's See, fortune I'm, cookie? I'm Sorry, really, chat, that you can't eat your I'm cookie. I'm really glad that you did get insect too. Because my totally line of thinking did. was, I saw Scorpion with Spider-Man, and I went, I went, Scorpion's an arachnid, but Spider's an insect. <laughs> and, and, then, and then I went, and then you were like, no, Spider's also an arachnid. I'm like, Why? <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, it's almost a running joke how many villains call Spider-Man an insect. Yeah. A bug, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm here fine. is the chat's fortune. All right, chat, you here's your fortune, fortune guys. Cookie? Cooking is easy. Okay. Good taste is hard. That's why you call takeout. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess <laughs> I see where that's going. I I feel like that was that's a bit of a burn on us. Good taste is hard. That's why you call takeout. <laughs> Though our our food tonight was very good. We like the place we ordered Chinese. Yeah, food. we ordered from Fireball. It's I do delicious. like Fireball. Right. I'm sad they they. I'm gonna mute myself like they, for a couple of seconds. They changed sets. hands a bit. Um, they their menu has like a totally different look now, and they took one of my favorite things off the menu and I am very sad. They had this amazing almond chicken that was basically just a chicken cutlet breaded with slivered almonds. And the breading was like thicker than the chicken was and it had this amazing delicious like almond sauce on it on like a bed of greens. That sounds good. It was amazing. And then they like changed hands and now they don't have it anymore. Th that insane. may have been a little like a little intense. It was delicious. It was just, amazing. just like the, the actual involvement to go and make it. In the... oh, Look at this. That has some heft to it. And to give you an idea of what it contains. Well, there we go. We got a. There we go. Hi. So yeah, this enormous trove is all the Pokemon stuff that we have to give away during Extra Life. We've got like Holy. plush Pokemon. There's a Litlin. <gasps> and I want him. Oh, uh, uh, what is that? That's the frog It's a mega evolution. Swampert. Swampert. Yep. So tons and tons of plushies. They're so. Which it you know was that would be awesome if it was just a box full of Pokemon. That would be pretty cool to start with. Because that's pretty awesome. But then I want the Litten. Oh my God, he has tiny little legs. Look at look at him. <laughs> it also has entire boxes of Pokemon boosters. There's a box Pond's of Sun Kitchen. and Moon Burning Shadows. A box them. of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Wow. I think we have There's a menu deck boxes. for them here. This lot is unbelievable. There's a Pokemon version of Monopoly in here. Well, yeah, yeah, at the bottom of the box. Over that. Who would want Monopoly? But well, I mean, it's Pokemon themed. So if you're going to yeah. have also, a copy of Monopoly, you might as well also have... Also, that means that it has Pokemon themed minis in it. God, How about we, that? we wish true. we could send you an Extra Life Waffle Man. Oh, I'm sorry, Drew. Is that Drew asking? Yeah. Yeah. Like, there are, like, tins and stuff and more in packs. here. I think she just threw everything she could fit in this box and more. There's this is amazing. There's a whole bunch amazing. more Burning Shadows packs in here. I definitely think we need we do need to, like, split it up because there's two of these guys. Yeah. There's a, there's two Mega Lucarios. Lucario. There's a couple theme decks and such. My god, this is a this is a trove of yeah. Look, Pokemon goodies. Yeah. Look, there's two of them. Yep. One in plastic wrap, one out. Yeah, don't, yeah, most likely tins. no one person needs all of this. <laughs> no and I think one there's, man. There's two of these guys, these scatter bugs. There's two of those, one in plastic and one not. This is fantastic. This I, lot this, is unbelievable. This lit though, is... It's adorable. You're going you're gonna to donate to whatever gets you the Litten plush? Yeah, I want the Litten plush. It's got this giant head and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's very kawaii. 
Yeah. But I like, I love this guy. His giant the arm. Mega Swamp. Ah. Yeah. Ah. He would make an excellent uh, kaiju. He would. He's like um, a leatherback. Yeah. I know the kaiju's names from Pacific Rim. Yeah, I'm you're all, a Pacific I'm a nerd Rim again. nerd. God, look, and he's got these like uh, th this, things. This is the stream that exposes it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if you realized Amanda is a nerd. Only I've Amanda, hidden it so, I've we're, hidden it so our, well. Our cover hasn't time. been blown yet. Man. Yeah. So that's pirouette form. The Pokemon pirouette. Lot. These are and awesome. We definitely have to break it down. I think you're right oh, because God, yeah. why would anybody want two of a particular plush? We'll probably have two lots of plushes. Swirlix. Oh, and it's then, and it's a like, it's a backpack yeah, thing. Like, this like swirl is a tag to like several hang starters on your and backpack. theme decks in there. Yep. Again, there's the Monopoly game, which. Uh, if you're gonna have Monopoly, you might as well have it themed to. This Mewtwo Mayhem enjoy. theme deck. There's some good stuff in this box. Yeah. This so, box is pretty amazing. Thank you so much to the Pokemon oh, Company for yeah, getting look. us this huge pile of <laughs> stuff. He's got little toes! This should raise a lot of money, is look my at anticipation. These. Andy, look. We have. Wow, He's got his little that's toe adorable. Beans. <laughs> this is what Amanda's squeeing about is the toe beans. He's got little toes. Little toes. There we so, go. Wow. Wow. Th th this I love that this is specifically the pirouette form. This is the one and only case I'll make from Monopoly. Okay. Have you ever played it without house rules? Have uh, you like ever played it to game. the book? I believe I have once or twice. With nothing special on... Uh, yeah, no free parking. Yep, free parking. You tried Skyline! Oh man, Skyline Chili. Super jealous I'm right now. I'm all about it. I'm gonna go put this box we back. We may not be now. able to send you. Uh, it's an acquired taste. I mean, I will understand if you didn't love it. Um, but man, I'm jealous right now. <laughs> I yeah, love yeah, Skyline. That, that that plush may mysteriously go missing before Extra Life. <laughs> no, we've done an inventory on camera. No, we we know we we, we went over it on camera. I, I am not going to just take the blush. I will I will donate like a good girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You didn't like it. It's an it is an acquired taste. Um, I was I, for years. My family would go visit Cincinnati, and um, we uh, for years we would visit Cincinnati and. My dad would get Skyline, and like my whole family, my aunts and uncles, and Nate my dad and my it. grandmother, Pray we for would Nate. all like go get Skyline. Just tell me when you're mic'd. And I would have to like go upstairs because I couldn't even stand the smell of that it. That didn't work at all. And then one day we were in Cincinnati visiting my family, and we walked past a chili parlor in uh, downtown Cincy. Uh, I and I s we walked by and the smell wafted out the door to me and I was like, I want that for lunch. Just and hit me. Since then, Been addicted all right, so Nate, since. we have two options now. Mm -hmm. You have not had a chance to play Lovecraft Letter. No, I have not. I'm Amanda and Travis have not gotten a chance to play Not Alone. True. Chat. Are you familiar with Not Alone? Would you like to see us play that? Not Alone... I would owe you so big, Drew. <laughs> is it? Not Alone is a game of... You sent uh, me Skyline? An alien planet yeah. and I mean, I the people it. stranded there who are attempting not to get murderized by a vicious alien. Basically. Patrick wants Not Alone. Oh, of course. Uh, I just... It, that one's going to be around a half an hour to 45 minutes, whereas, you know, Lovecraft takes like 35, so I just want to make sure I'm not We could it. play a round of Lovecraft Letter as opposed to a full game of Lovecraft Letter, so Nate yeah. gets to try it out and I just then don't play want to Not hold. Alone. Just, I'm flexible. How's that sound? We could play like one round of um, Lovecraft Letter so Nate gets to play it and then move on to Not Alone. Because one round of Lovecraft Letter is going to go really fast. Yeah, we, we still have the yeah. cards out, so it's not like... Yeah. 
Okay. So right. Nate, let's let's do that, and then we will definitely play Not Alone because I do want to play it. I just want Nate to get to so play this really because it's a fun yeah. take yeah. on yeah. like you played Love Letter, Letter Nate. Oh, of course, uh, yeah. I love Love Letter. This is a very interesting one. Okay. So, yeah. so you're we'll familiar with Love Letter. I am very familiar with Love Letter. Okay. Lovecraft Letter has a we'll pl- couple we'll play of not alone next. We're just going to play one uh, round. Some of the game. cards, you will note, have two abilities. One in tan and one in green. I the see. one in tan, same you can use at any time. Insane. Exactly. The green, you can only use if you are currently insane. You are insane if there is a green card in your discard pile. The green effects are generally more powerful. However, the downside is, if you have... A green card in your discard pile, you are insane and must take a sanity check at the beginning of your turn. And it has the chance of knocking you out of the round. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, let's play a game. Uh, I'll go first, that way you get to see some of the cards in action. So Everybody yeah, draw Drew, one card. I, I have um, this card, hand skyline. Uh, there is actually an ability it, that puts but, um, it into, into your hand, I so it's not in the deck. I would um, owe you a, a lot. Amanda? Thank you. Neat. All right. I also had two I rounds go first. where I, had, I one, started off play with one. the Necronomicon, Nate. <laughs> two rounds in a row. Nice. All right. And I won the game last time with I two. play the Great Race of Eat, uh, which I didn't read the blurb for last time. So why don't you pass the manual and I'll read the blurb. That is my discard Index. pile. Put that on camera. There we go. No, canned is never quite the same. It's not the same as like going to Cincinnati and having it like at a chili parlor. Um, but it is very different from trying to make your own. Yeah, make your own. You'd have to have really blend it, mm-hmm. I think, to get the texture right. Yeah. Anyways, the great race of Eat, a psychic entity that ages ago fled to Earth as its home planet has been destroyed. On Earth, they inhabit great conical beings. In order to learn everything there is to know, they project themselves on beings of past and future, in return imprisoning those psyches in their conical bodies. And you know, here's what they look like. And the ability that I get from it is choose another player, secretly compare my hand with that player, and uh, the player with the lower number is knocked out of the round. I will compare my hand with you, Travis. There is my hand. Uh-huh. May I see your hand? No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> he had a lower number. Yeah. He had a two, which was, what was it? Yeah, it's the golden mead. Oh, the golden mead, okay. And Andy has higher than a two. I have higher than a two in my hand, that Amanda. has eliminated yeah. so much. This is the second round that I've been eliminated before my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play Liber Ivonis. You cannot be targeted? I cannot be targeted uh, by until the start of my next turn. And, and you are now insane. I am now insane. Only Travis just now. is out. Hey, hey, Patrick. Oh, you're off to bed? Off to your right. little ones to bed. Tuck them in. Bye. Have a good night. Um, I will play an Elder Sign. The same like effect as yeah, pretty much. the Lieber, but you're not insane. But I'm not insane. Okay, so that's until the beginning of your... Oh, don't get our oh. discard piles oh, mixed yeah, up. This is mine, that's yours. Pile. That's right. Because that matters right. for insanity effects. Uh, it's my turn. I am not insane, so no insanity check. Because it's... Uh, it, like. Because I have an insane one now, I have to perform an insanity check at the beginning of my turn. And if I fail it, I'm, I'm not going to play out. the investigators. Amanda, do you have an uh, eight? Can't. Oh, I can't target Amanda. I have to target Nate. No, you Nate. can't. No, you can't target anybody. I can't. Oh, I wasted an investigator. That's fine. Go ahead, Amanda. <laughs> now she does a sanity, sanity check. check. She's sight. Silver Safe. key. So it's just in the discard pile. I will play. The discard pile, that's the brain case. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Correct. Quite correct. Randolph Carter. Choose another player and trade hands with them. Obviously, I'm choosing Andy. Because you can't target me. Exactly. Yes. Now I know what you have, and you know what I have. Yep, I sure do. Uh huh. Okay. My turn. Your turn. Um. 
this is he's getting into card counting and strategy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's gonna investigate. I will play investigate. Um, yep. On you. Okay. You choose uh, a number that is not a one. Right. Obviously. Uh, I mistakenly chose one at one point, and they corrected me very rapidly. You can't do that. You can't do yeah. that. It, it uh, the deep ones does allow for it. Yeah, the deep ones does, but using the insane effect. Yeah. 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 Specifically, so it's you've actually chosen me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eight. Yes, I have Cthulhu in my hand, <laughs> yeah. and I am out. <laughs> Good call. All right, Nate. You and me. All right. All right. Sanity check. I am out. <laughs> oh, Nate <laughs> win. wins. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so. If we were playing a full game, obviously you would get a point and yes. the point you'd get a markers. Sane token. Yeah, yeah, you'd get a <laughs> sane one because you don't have any have insane cards sane in your discard pile. Nice. So yeah. yeah. And if you collect three sane or no two, two sane, sane or three, three insane. insane, you win. Yeah. And Cthulhu allows you to win the game instantly if you have two insanes in your like win the whole game, not the round. Right. I top decked that last game. Yeah, she won with that. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's Cthulhu. Or that's Lovecraft, Lovecraft letter. letter. Yes, Lovecraft um, letter. I think it's a good take on. Uh, what did yeah. we discard that time? Yeah, what was in the. Discard we did time? not have the Necronomicon in the deck that time. So that's why I didn't have it in my hand first, first round, first turn. Yeah. I was gonna target you and call eight. <laughs> take care, Drew. <laughs> Bye, Drew. Bye. We'll be here. So shall we play some Not Alone quickly? Yeah, let's give it a try. For, for the benefit of those with a video on demand. <laughs> yes, yes. People watching the VOD can see Not Alone. All right, so this is... All right, so we, we've gone I'm to a foreign put this planet. Away. And we've discovered that there are aliens on there. You crashed they... on the foreign planet. Okay. Um, and there is oh, a no. hungry no. thing that wants to eat you. Here. You get um, a fortune cookie. Thank you. So, so uh, it's a civilization beyond Earth, the card game. I, I, I suppose. I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I set this all up. I will put all <laughs> this stuff away. Nate has been wanting to play Not Alone since he bought it. I've played one two-player game with him, but have not had an opportunity uh, to play a multiplayer yeah. game. Uh, flip them around, Nate, uh, uh, yeah. so that the chat can... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Am I missing? No, I've got everything here. I do want to say for Lovecraft Letter, I don't know if I mentioned this when we were looking at the box, it comes with spare sleeves. So it comes with not only sleeves to sleeve everything up, but spares in case you tear a sleeve. I'm just so That's impressed. That's actually really with thoughtful. the packaging for Love Letter. That is nice. Yeah. For Lovecraft, Lovecraft Letter, Letter is and really well done. Yeah, the, the fact that they have a nice formed insert, the whole yeah. magnetic cover and everything, the presentation of it is really nice. Yeah, it's and very well done. I mean, the, the fact that, I mean, I love any time that you have an insert to where you put everything in and you can shake that box around. It ain't moving. It's it's there. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, yeah. Dice Forge was one of the oh, better man. inserts. Dice Forge that best so well designed. Designed. That was one of the best inserts I think I've yeah. seen in a game. Um, oh, I didn't put the instructions. Just hands down. Uh, I've mentioned before, uh, I believe, Japur, it's a small two-player game, but that has a very nice insert. Uh, uh, what was the game? A Small World has a nice one, too, even. It's a, it's a that, place. That's off screen. Are that's not as to... important because okay. that's that's just a, a reminder. A, well, role? no, it's a card pool for you guys. Oh, okay. Um, this is the board. Because there are some cards that have you draw other, you know, grab these cards. Because you don't start off with the high number cards. You only start off with one through five. Andrew, what, what game were you thinking of? Uh, there was, and I can't remember what it was, it was like Wrecking Crew or something like that. Um, and it had amazing packaging. 
like down to the level of actually having instructions for putting the game away. All right, so I'm going to shift this a little bit so yeah, that it's more... Yeah, move wherever you want. And we each get a game turn card yes. so that we can see what the game turn is. I'll give one to the chat. Here's the game turn. There we go. Amanda? Sure. Oh, I guess you can have one too. <laughs> like, yes. And then I'm going to shift all of this yeah. this way. That's fine. So that it's... I can move your cookie and the, the tokens. Do you want to change the name of the game that we're playing? Sure. Since we're playing Not Alone, Not Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. Nate, I'm sorry it took you so incredibly long to get here. Today. Yeah, they did. I, I don't know. They, they were I doing know you live construction. Far away, but it's but not yeah, doing construction that far like away. everywhere. Yeah. Today. Well, yeah, the potholes. Um, yeah. Well, my theory was Amanda and I were talking about this on the drive in this morning. We saw a lot of construction, a lot of pothole filling, and we think it's because it's been raining the last couple yeah. of days. So you couldn't do any pothole filling in the rain. Right. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, yeah, it was down to like Change one lane, name. which was not fun. No. Uh, do -do 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 -do. No, no, wait, no. Sorry. Changing things in real time. Actually, speaking of real time, let's update this and see if anybody has donated to us while we've been streaming today. Nope, still to, $85. We need to come up with some good numbers for those Pokemon. Yeah, we need to figure out how we're going to divide we, the we box have up. The most amazing There's just box so of much stuff. I, in that I box. was overhearing. I had the. Uh, did I? It is astounding the stuff in that Pokemon. <laughs> that Pokemon box is amazing. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try changing the name of the broadcast while we're live. We'll see. Nope, can't change it without going. But you offline. can change it in. Oh, you did change it on screen. Yeah, so I changed the subtitle. It's cool. <coughs> so I would say it's like nine o'clock now. We'll yeah. give about half an hour or so. Yeah, it shouldn't take that. It's about that long of a game. Cool. Um, and it's like once you get past a couple of rounds, it's easy to this see. This is my hand. Yes. Okay. Everybody has the same hand. So everybody has a, starts out with the same five cards. So the you are playing the alien. I am playing the alien because okay. it's probably easier that way. So um, for those of you who are watching, we have a, a play board that has several locations we can visit and something that happens in each of those locations. We have two timelines. Uh, this is the... Rescue. This is, this th is us. This is you. This is The me. rescue. And this is the alien. If either of us reaches the middle, that team wins. Correct? Yes. Yeah. The alien has a lot fewer turns to reach the middle than us, but there's more of us, so we right. can move a little bit faster. Yes. Uh, so while you ponder, I'm going to show off the cards that we have in our hands. Each of us has a lair, which moves our uh, token to the lair. Uh, if we go to the lair, take back your hand, uh, take back to your hand the place cards from your discard pile, or copy the power of the place with the creature token. The creature is not currently revealed, so that doesn't do anything for us. Lose one extra will if caught by the creature. So if the creature catches us while we're in the lair, we lose a will. Which are these little bricks. So we each have three will. All right. uh, I'm, I'm going to continue to read while you yeah, do that. Yeah, my guess. Uh, the jungle uh, is card number two. 
take back to your hand this place card and play one place card from your discard pile if we go to the jungle. So I guess if we go to the jungle, we can go back to the jungle on future turns because it just bo bounces right back to us. Uh, we have the river. <coughs> Next turn, play two place cards before revealing. Choose one and return the second to your hand. So if we're at the river on our next turn, we get to play two place cards. Uh, the beach, place the marker counter on the beach or remove it to the rescue counter or move the rescue counter forward one space. So that is how we move forward the rescue counter Oop. is by using the beach. That's a way you can move it An forward extra. more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we have the rover. Take from the reserve one place card you do not own and place it in your hand. So that's how we get these other places, which are 6 through 10. Which are those. Ah, I love it. So place 6 is the swamp. If we're in the swamp, take uh, back to your hand this place card and two place cards from your discard pile. So that's a way to get more options. If we have the shelter, draw two survival cards, choose one, and discard the second. So survival cards is a separate deck that we use to survive encounters with the alien. Gives you tricks. Eight is the wreck. Move the rescue counter forward one space. So that, again, uh, max one time per turn, we can go to the wreck and move forward a space. Uh, the source is the hunted of your choice, you or another player, regains one will, or you draw one survival card. So that's very helpful to get some extra survival cards into your hand. And finally, the artifact is card number 10. Next turn, place two cards, play two place cards, resolve both places. You may not copy the artifact. No, no recursion. Right. Um, but being able to place two place cards obviously gets you some major benefits. So strategizing amongst ourselves, <laughs> yeah. obviously we want to be able to get better cards into our hands right. in order to be able to do things like using the artifact. The downside being, I think when we're at those locations, the creature has better abilities to do damage to us. I can. So so the the way it works is is that all right, so there's three there's four phases. The first phase is the exploration phase. Yes. Uh, and that one um, you either um, uh, resist or resist give up. or give up. Um, so you can forfeit one or two of the little well counters. Uh, to take back two or four place cards from the discard pile. That Is there one shared discard pile? No, I think, it's, I think think you, you each have your own. Yeah. Um, and it's a may. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not right. a must. Or uh, if you have no will will counters, or you, you can give up and that will get all your will counters back. Uh, but you don't get to do. You to don't play get to do any anything, yeah. and it moves the hunt the the uh, creature token up one. Ah. So, uh, and then phase and two then, is well, hunting. no, and then so then it, once you decide if you're going to do a resist or give up, if you do do it, if not, then you all the hunted put their where they want to go down at the same time, face down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you move to a location mm -hmm. and see if one of us is yes. at that location. And I, so I'll always place this icon. That's where That's the, the monster is. Yep. Uh, some of these. These chips are so weighty. <laughs> I love these chips. Some of these, uh, these monster are hunter attacks. Co monster yeah. attack cards will let me place this token. Which will let me do whatever. Target something. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and some other ones will let me use this one, which basically does the same Calls thing. Calls the Avengers. <laughs> or if they're on a spot that has that icon on it. Okay. Uh, um, if. I think the best way is yeah, just to go. Just to go. It's been a while. So. All right. So, phase one 
Exploration. Resist or give up. I'm going to resist. If I... Well, you don't have anything in your discard pile yet. Oh, I thought that's how I got uh, powers. No, that's That's from by using cards. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we each, at the same time, Amanda, yeah. we each choose what location we're going to without communicating to him where we're going. But you have and to we'll talk place our one. card down. Um, uh, we choose a different one? Like, no, we can no. choose. Uh, there right. could be multiple people end up at the same place. Okay. And then if he attacks that place, he hits multiple people. Gotcha. Um, hmm. My brain's not, like, terribly <laughs> good right now. So. Each of you guys do get one of these to start the game. Oh, I okay. Forgot. So we've also got one of these. Okay. I think I know... We are at, we're on the beach right yeah. now. You, everyone starts. Well, no. You, you go where you should. This is just... The beach That's is, the marker. When you play the beach, you take the marker off. And move forward. And, and move the one f that forward. And then if you play the beach again, you put the marker back on it mm -hmm. so you can then play it again and take it off. Okay, okay. But yeah, the idea being you only have so many cards in your hands, and once you I'm play them, here. it'll be open knowledge, and I'm trying to figure out where you're at. Where you're at. Yeah. I have chosen my destination. Travis has chosen his destination. The problem is that at this stage in the game, there's a limited number of places we could go. Yeah. So Nate's attack is likely to hit us. So now... No, it's, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Nate does a thing. I do a thing. We're into hunting phase. Place the hunt token. <laughs> Uh, I will go there. Okay, he has gone to the river. The river. Um, very wise of him not to go to any of the six through ten spaces because we are obviously Cannot not be there. Because <laughs> we haven't drawn any six through ten cards yet. All right. So All right. now that's the hunt. Reveal the place cards and apply the effects. Right. So starting with the so, player to the left. Okay. I am um, at the rover. Uh, take from the reserve. One place card you do not own and add it to your hand. So, just when you play the card, you can either use the effect on the card or take one card back from your discard pile. Gotcha. All right. I, I could take that back to my hand again. No, because okay, you have not played in the discard pile yet. Okay. Now it's in the discard pile, and I am going to take. Uh, I'm going to take the swamp. So I have a swamp, swamp in my hand. In Molasses, Molasses Swamp. swamp. Oh, All right, Amanda, where did you go? I also went to the rover. <laughs> to see what's this. I'm going to take the wreck. Okay, Amanda has a wreck in her hand. The wreck goes in your hand. Yes. Travis went to... The lair. The lair. Yeah. Very bold move. You <laughs> went straight to the creature's lair. Yes. And what happens? Uh, so I either take back to my hand uh, the place card from my discard pile, which I don't have one. So uh, copy the power of the place with the creature token. Ah, which, which be is the river. the river. So next turn, play two place cards. Nice. And before revealing, I can choose, choose one, which one and return that to my hand. Right, so after he places his creature token, you cannot be there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Go, mm, not going to be in that place now. Yeah. <laughs> well copied. Okay. Now it is uh, the end of turn. Discard the place card. So that's in our yep. discard pile now. Take back the hunt tokens. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, draw the hunt cards up to three in hand. 
and move the rescue token. Boop. Okay. You do not move because you didn't did 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 hit anybody. I didn't need anybody. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, when can we use these? Uh, I think. They, oh, it says. It says. It says. Yeah, it says. It says. So I'm going to use a phase four ability mm -hmm. to remove the marker counter mm -hmm. and move the rescue one forward one. There you go. There. So that is removed. So I used my amplifier. It actually says right on it. That I don't know why I asked. I obviously wasn't thinking very well. Uh, oh, I should put chat back up. <laughs> Not it's that okay. I think There's anybody's no in chat. Right yeah. But uh, just, you know, because it's the right thing to do. Blah, chat. Okay, now we get to move again. Okay. Or no, we get to resist or give up. Yep. So if we resist, resist right? by giving up one of our wills, we can take the card back into our hand. Uh, okay. Yep, one or two. So one you get, you can take two cards back. Two you can take up to four cards back. Yeah. You can take four cards back. It's two or four. Okay. Um. Or what does give up do? Does that just mean like? So if you have no will you and like you have no, and you have like one card and I know where what it's gonna be because all of your stuff is in the discard, you can give up all your will, get your cards back, um, but you move the you move my token forward one. Gotcha. So yeah. So because yeah, that's the thing is that I keep I have to keep an eye on what your discard piles are. Because that'll let me know where you are. <laughs> gotcha. All right. So, so. Similar mentality to, to Love Letter. It's yeah. Like, I like these. I love these types of games. I am going to go. We're on hunting now. Or no, we're on we're on exploration. Exploring. Yep. Phase two. So we have to choose where we're going again. Um. I am going to go here. Yep, Travis is playing two because he copied the river last turn. Smart man. All right, we have all chosen our locations. Nate now hunts. All right, so I'm going to play one of my hunt cards. Uh-oh. So this uh, is the virus card. He's summoning the Avengers. Oh. <laughs> It'll Target two adjacent places. Apply the effects of these... Uh, of the Artemis token in both places. Yep. So, if you end up in a uh, car in a spot affected by the Artemis token, um, <coughs> um, hold on. That's Sorry. a it's nasty ability. Sorry, I gotta read a little bit more. Uh, da, 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 da. So the places. Ah, okay. For the chat. E each hunter who explores the place where the this happens. Uh, where 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 the we're going to call it the Avenger symbol now because that's what it is uh, is located discards one place card from his hand the place card's power may not be used uh, and the hunted cannot and you cannot t the hunted cannot take back a place card so you basically you, you essentially lose your turn, lose your turn. Yeah. but that doesn't go forward uh, I have other cards that let me use this yeah. and. That makes things, and if or, and if you land on this, you're in big trouble. So this virus is pretty awful. Yes. So it's it, as if you're placing the Artemis on two locations. Right. And that is in lieu of your creature, or do you no, also, get, I to also place get to play the creature? No, I also get to play the creature token. Oh man, this is awful. <laughs> yeah. The creature is powerful. There. Okay. For that. And the creature. Go. There. Okay. Okay, I am done. All right, now we reveal. I am at the river, so the Artemis virus has hit me. So you basically don't get to do nothing. But you don't move forward. Right. So the river just goes to my discard pile. Mm -hmm. I do not get to choose two next turn. Correct. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. Oh no, oh, no, you also discard one from your hand. Oh, I also have to discard one from my hand. Um, 
I will discard the beach. Amanda got hit by the creature. Roar. Yeah, I did. Uh, so you resolve this. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on. Oh, there's no... no uh, you don't well, no, lose no, no. any extra will, uh, but you lose one will. You right? lose one will because of me. And then... He moves I could forward. move forward one. Okay. Does she get to resolve Place her ability? Place is Okay. Uh, you get to do nothing. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. So, Sad. oh, I should put the other reminder token out too. There we go. So chat can see. Bolt. Travis is deciding which location he is actually at. He is actually at the river. But so he loses his turn, card. but you don't move forward. I sure do. Okay. Do we have to discard a card? Oh yeah, he has to discard a card as well. So this is where resisting comes in handy. <laughs> once we get to the, once we start over again. Do either of you have a resist card that could have helped in that circumstance? No. Okay. <laughs> Like, All right, so that was nasty. The creature spat venom at us or something. And I, I mean, boy. can I use this at any time? Or? It says what at the phase bottom you of can the use page, it at the bottom. At the bottom of the card. It says phase three on mine. Oh, phase but three like is any, that. Yeah, phase yeah. three is the reckoning phase. Oh. The, yeah. No, because this already did something to me, so I can't. Like, this would do something. Before something happened, or? It it would only have been helpful if I could have done it before I got hit. You can. You can. Yeah. Because you let's can just use it at any Let's rewind you can to the beginning of phase three. Oh, okay. Three. Sorry. When I said my brain isn't working terribly yeah, no, good, my, my brain like crapped out about like 10 minutes ago. No, that's and fine. And I'm okay. having reading comprehension issues. So, so um, move the creature to an adjacent place. Oh, so you ah. move the creature here? Well, it was on to. Oh. That's why I got hit. So move it to the lair. Yeah. Yeah. Before everything's resolved, right, and then you yeah. get to use the jungle, yep. right. And so the jungle it goes is back to my draw. hand. It's take back to your hand this place card and one place card from your discard yes. pile. Yep. So, so, so you now have, you have your full hand, hand again, yeah. and you have your will. Yeah. Nice. So, Good job. And Amanda. I go backwards. Yeah. See there you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, you can use it at any point in the phase, but right. obviously at that point the information is known. So yeah. Yeah, I know it's and it's my, my thing right. is still happens the way it did. Right. Next move. Uh, so, yep. We could discard three or two to get four cards two back. Two to get four cards back, one to get two cards back. Okay. And if you dump them all, you get everything back. I'm going to go here. Wait. Wait, did we move the rescue token for... Oh, no, we did not. Oh, sorry. And... Yeah, not. So if I spend one will, I get to take two, two cards, cards back. back. Two cards back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if he does that, that's resist. So he still right. gets to play one place card. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Amanda has chosen a place that she's going to because she has a full hand. Yes, I do. We don't have to play the full time. We can just play one or two yeah. more rounds. And I mean, we've gotten an idea of how the game yeah. works yeah. at this point. All right. We've all chosen a destination. Hunt. Okay. Uh-oh. He's looking carefully at his yes, monster cards. Uh, Something horrible is about to happen. This is the last hunt card you just played. Flash. So, I get, ah. so the virus is back. Oh, man. Reveal, ah. or does anybody have a, a card they want to use? Okay. I am at two, so I am hit by the virus once again. Zoop. 
And you discard a card. And I discard a card. Which means he knows where I'm going next turn. Yes. And Unless you give up. Or, yeah. well, you don't even have to give up. You can just... You can resist. And then yeah. Then yeah. And get then you get four back. Four back. Um, I am going to the rover. So I'm taking so you're a card safe. from... And I'm taking a card from... Uh, the reserve. The reserve. That's how you get the sur more survival yeah. cards. I I always have three hunt cards at any time. Yeah. <laughs> Which is Because the creature has an advantage in a 3v1 game. You in my house. All right. And the rover. Nice. I take the artifacts. Rover buddies. Take it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so. so that is the end of that turn. Move that Oop. forward. You take your tokens back. We are now in an Artemis location. Which means or I get to put it down. Uh, without playing the effects. Right. Next turn. Next turn. I am going to resist paying two will to take four cards back. Joint. And... Declare my movement. I am going here. All right, we've all chosen. You attack. So you get to place Artemis and Alien and do something from your hand. If I run out of will, that moves you forward? Yes, or so if you have to give if you give that up to get two back you then also give up and you get everything back and then I move forward so once you have zero will tokens you get you your get giving, my three back yeah. but you move you get your three back you get everything in your discard pile back but I move exactly uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so I am going to play Toxin. Mm. So it's a hunt, so I get to place the hunt token, and I will place that on the wreck. Uh, I will place, since it's the turn with yep, the planet token, the I, get, I get the... Uh, da -da 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 -da. So the Toxin on phase two gets to place a hunt token, and each hunted on the target place discards a survival card uh, and the power of the place is ineffective so and I'll place okay my I reveal there. that I am at the, the rover, rover. Uh, so, so I am going to take you can a either get the will back hand. or use the ability on the card right okay, take a shelter give me shelter Unfortunately, I needed shelter. I am at the river, so I get hit by the, the Artemis virus. virus means yep. you yep. discard a card. So I'm going to discard. This is a cool game. It is. I feel like we should do like a full stream dedicated to it instead of an exhaustion it's stream at the end of yeah, the Yeah, no, stream. but, but hey, I, I haven't played it in months. I forgot some of the rules, so that makes it better. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've seen this stream. Yes. You know how this, this works. This is how we go. This is how we roll, man. Well, yeah, that's why I said it's better. I love the beach. Rar. Uh oh, so he moves forward. Yeah. Rar. Okay. All right. One more round and then yeah. call it. Yeah, sure. And do we go up one? Yes, you do. Still go up one. You always go up one. So it's, it's a matter of holding me off. <laughs> Now, if I resist right now, and if that does yeah, that put me at empty, that puts you at empty. Okay. Um, so yeah, you have to, that that makes you have to pull. You pull everything back. You get all your will back, but I move forward one. So we can pay a will during the hunt. 
Do I miss the... Minus one will place an effective... Oh, no, that's if you, that's yeah, if you hit if you us. Get yeah, mauled. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's saying Rawr. what each one of the things yeah. do. So the, the circle means you're nothing happened. You're, you're, you're not on a spot with a token. Who did you hit? Me. Or no. Hit him. Hit Travis. And I got the virus. Which means Travis loses his will because he got mauled. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I already discarded oh, yeah. the will. He I thought you paid one. two will last turn. No, no he paid one. Oh, okay, okay. I watched him move his will over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so where are we? Uh, Travis is deciding whether he's going to resist or not. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Movement time. Run away! This, this feels more, more like giving up than giving up. <laughs> Yeah, but at least I don't get to play the uh, Avengers token this turn. I'm going there. <laughs> All right. Hunt. Are you using something from your hand? No. He's not using something from his hand. Or actually... That feels even more dangerous. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to use my hand this turn. I'll save it until next time. Uh, I'm going to put myself there. The river. And now I'm done. Take me to the river. Exactly. Every time I think Drown that. me in the river. Okay. <laughs> I am at the beach. So I place that there. And, and? And something? No, no, no. It's when you take or, it off, it moves. Uh, only when you take it off? Yeah. yeah. Place oh. the marker or remove it. So if somebody right. else went to the beach, they, they would then to remove move it. forward. Amanda. I went to the source, so I either draw a survival card or one of you can gain a will. Um, Travis seems pretty demoralized at the moment, so <laughs> guess what, buddy? Gain a will back. Yay. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Travis, where did you go? I'm like way over at the source going, no, no, Travis, the artifact. you can do it. Oh, I forgot you had that card. It called to me. <laughs> so what happens at the artifact? Next turn, play two place cards. Resolve Bolt. Resolve Bolt. Yes, yeah. but Resolve. you cannot yeah. copy the artifact that yeah, you're right, using right. like this. Or Resolve Bolt, good or bad. <laughs> Resolve Bolt. <laughs> All right. All right. Move. Whoop. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, we're in. So that's how that game works. That's so cool. Yeah, that's I neat. like this game. Yeah. I no, would like I, to play it when I'm not exhausted. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, and, and, and it doesn't help that you played like two or three games of a game with similar mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, deck count, card counting is definitely. Yeah. No, I mean, the, 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 yeah, one, two, three, there's a lot more different four, stuff, five. which is cool. But uh, but yeah, let's just no. keep these as one, two, three, four, five. I think. Yeah, I mean, I can always sort them later. It's it's not a big deal. You should get Survival some sleeves card. for this. Hmm. Yeah, I probably well, should. Well, you know. <laughs> All right, guys. We have a list of games that we go, oh, you know, we're, we're going to be able to hey, play that. Play it during. Extra, extra life. life. Extra life. We should totally. Okay. This would make a good extra life game. Yeah, yeah it Because it's would. short enough. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's not Got like. 25 hours to fill. Right. Yeah. And, you know, you can do it between, like, you know, playing. Uh, Formula Day and Twilight Imperium, oh, you know? Indeed. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Do you have a copy of Formula <coughs> D? Excuse me. What's that? Do you have a copy of Formula D here? Not a store demo copy, but there's several people who own it. Yeah, it's easy enough for us to get someone. Well, well there's also, I, I think, I mean, I I think there's a copy. <laughs> I think there's a copy in Norton. So you could always yeah. think about bringing some stuff up from Norton. Um, or down from Saugus. Or down from Saugus. <laughs> Gracious. Now, are, are either, uh, are either uh, Norton or Saugus doing anything for Extra Life, or is it mainly centralized? It's, it's mainly centralized, centralized here. here, primarily because this location has the loft where we can broadcast from, yep. and has a back room. There is a D&D &D group that uses the back room for 25 hours. They bring in, like, crockpots. Yeah. They basically yeah. just take up residence in the back room for the whole thing. Why is this thing. not going? Mm -hmm. And run like an all day, yeah, all night crock pots, you say. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that's the part that garners my attention. <laughs> so, 
So they just taunt you with the, the yeah. smell. They of walk wanting. through, and you're like, oh. yeah, but we get waffles. Yeah, we yeah. get waffles. So you know, I, I'll uh, still sorry. I'm still need to determine what hours I'll actually be here. But we might be uh, persuaded to make waffles sometime when you're here to make sure you get to partake of waffles. Oh, and you can't make it. If at all, like, if you're gonna come, come like around like eleven to like one. He All right, has guys. A baby. Yeah, but yeah. won't the baby be asleep at that point? One can't, hopes. Can't leave <laughs> baby unattended. Oh, yeah. wife not home. I, well, wife, wife. Works she three she to puts 12. up with him. Ah, well, see, I not know these yeah. things. I hope everything was okay when you had to leave quite abruptly last time. Yes. Yeah. No. Um. Just uh, being a little. Uh, All right. A little so crankier than normal, but it was guys. Good. We need to. Uh, I want to put out a survey right now. Yeah. So that people can decide what we're going to play next week. We're done with our uh, mountain. Nate, will you be able to join us? I cannot give you a, a okay. positive or a negative on that one. Travis, will you be able to join us next Friday, the third? Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's just. Oh, actually, wait a okay. minute. I'm assumed to be here. I right might. I might end up being here because I might. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I mean, this is the Friday before Extra Life, so I'm saying short. Oh, that's right. Easy, quick yeah. games. Because ah. we low need F sleep. Oh, we need right. sleep that night. No, then, you, then, my, then probably yeah. not. Okay. <laughs> Amanda, yes. what would be a short, easy, quick game we could play on stream the Friday before Extra Life? We're staring right at Queen Domino. Aren't we are we? staring right at Queen Domino. Uh, I mean, I think that's more complex than King Domino, but it I'd is. absolutely be willing to play it. But it, it plays it. relatively fast. Queen Domino? So, yeah, let's put Queen Domino uh, on there. Um, what game that fit? Suro is pretty quick and simple. I'm not super into Suro, honestly. Uh, we could do game. Lanterns or. Could do Lanterns. Huh? Lanterns. Lanterns is fun. Yeah. Okay. Just thinking of that sort of game. Yeah. How about if there's only the three of us? I'm trying to think like what's like on the demo Sheriff shelf of right Nottingham right? wouldn't be a lot. No. Of fun. Nah, that's, yeah. You gotta have at least four for that. that, that really. Yeah. That, that's uh, more fun with more. Players. And I want to play. If we're gonna play that, I want to play that with the expansion with the Merry Men. Yeah. Expansion. I haven't seen the expansion. Yeah. Yep. The Merry Men expansion adds a new um, a new item that you can smuggle, <laughs> which is men. No, this is totally chickens in my cart. Just chickens. <laughs> Nobody in here but us chickens. Uh, yeah. And has the option for a more a six player game with an extra with a, uh, a deputy. Ah. Uh, so that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I feel like we should have one more thing. Huh. I've got Queen Domino and Lanterns on my list. Amanda's taking a quick I'm, glance I'm looking at the, at the, demo, the, wall. the demo wall downstairs. There's, there's that librarian thing. I don't know how, how involved that I is. I think though. that's probably a more involved game. Yeah, that seems like a more involved thing. Um, um, Scott, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Card Game seems like a pretty tame deck builder. I would not play that. But you are try Flip Scott. Ships. Flip Ships? Yeah, let's try Flip Ships. Let's put Flip, flip Ships, ships on, on the list. Okay, so, so yeah, that, that is good. fairly light dexterity game, right? Yeah. So. yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to post that in chat, even though I suspect nobody is in chat right now, but I'll also post it in all the regular places tomorrow. Sure. So that people can uh, jump in on that and help us determine what we will play next week on the stream. Find Just battleground free on extra light. Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Yeah, all those handy links down there. Even if you're watching this, if you're watching the VOD on, uh, oh, let me switch views here. We're showing a whole lot of empty space. Um, but if you're, hands. <laughs> uh, if you're watching the VOD, which is the video on demand on Twitch, uh, you'll see a whole bunch of links down below us here. And if you're watching the YouTube archive, uh, there's also a bunch of links in the description. So, yeah, check those links out. They are definitely handy, and they will show you a lot of useful ways to get in touch with us. Uh, and in the chat right now, if you're watching the VOD, that is the survey. Uh, so you can click on that link in the chat, and yep. that will take you to the survey, and you can take that there. Um, if you 
follow us Battleground Games on Facebook. That link will be there tomorrow, so you can click that there. Yep. And I will also post it in the streaming uh, section of the, uh, the Discord, for which there are links, again, right below us. Also, Extra Life. Yes. Extra Life is one week from tomorrow. It starts on Saturday, November 9th, or I'm sorry, November 4th, and runs to Sunday, November 5th. And you can absolutely donate right now at this yeah. moment as you are watching this video. So go ahead, donate to Extra Life, get an early start, and donate early and often. And I we'll, think we'll get details about like what the different donation amounts are for some yeah, we of have the to newer make a page things that we put up. We're going to put a page together. We're going to put something together and get it up online so that everyone can see what giveaways we have and what um, donation amounts will get sort of toss you into a raffle for that. Sadly, we, I don't have a, 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 a sort of fire and ice legendary this year. There is a there sort is of life in and there. death in the prize pool. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so. Along with the Hascon cards, the Hascon promo oh. cards, which are amazing. Yeah, so if you're a Magic fan, got there's good us. stuff. If you're a Pokemon fan, there's good stuff. Such good stuff. If you're stuff. a board game fan, we have Risk Legacy, which was donated by Travis. If you're there's the tank. There's the yeah, if you're a tank. Warhammer fan, there's the tank there's you can the get. There's the date with Derek. If, if you're a if fan, you're a of Derek being happy, fan, yeah. The, the Zelda enamel <laughs> pins. Uh, oh, oh yes. you know what? God, we still have pins. another week. Yeah. yeah. There, there may be other things that roll in. Who knows? Yep. We've yeah, got we've play got some mats, people thinking about got things they can art. donate. The play mats, I forgot about so those. So much good stuff. Right, those play mats, the gorgeous, gorgeous yes. Star Wars play mat. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. be here in the store if you can. If you can't be in the store, please do join us on stream. Yeah, join us online. There will be lots of stuff. And, and donating we'll online tired. donating online still gets you entered for things. No, did I is that a Giveaway? Yes, the giant Stranger Things standee. So here's a question. Yes. If someone who doesn't live nearby wins that, I don't, how we're not we going to give that away. Online. Yeah, I'm that's sorry, it, guys. the Stranger Things thing we cannot ship. Yeah, it's just it's too big. Um, yeah, I work no in way. shipping, and I would not <laughs> yeah. want to be tasked no. with yeah. um, keeping that safe in but transit. Pretty it's much tough anything else that car. we have. Um, that we're doing. The, the Stranger Things, we'll put a disclaimer up on that one that that's not up for, for shipping elsewhere. I think, I think that there's going to be several things that are in store only yeah. and not online, unfortunately, for people who are only able to visit us through the chat. Virtually. Yeah. Um, but thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I hope you had fun watching us. We had an awful lot of fun playing some games. And Thank you guys for holding on a little longer so I could... <laughs> Come yeah, on. I'm glad we got hey, to play you know some alone. I'm glad you, you you didn't just decide to go. Yeah, I'm yeah. not coming. I'm not <laughs> going to turn go. around, go home. Nothing going to happen. No, I mean you We're got most of the you. way here. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank Good you night. all for joining us. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs>